What's up guys, welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use DEX tools to find new token launch and also some projects that are being listed right away and get some pretty good information about it. So here, this is very, very similar to DEX screener, but they do have some tools or um, features that are different from DEX um, screener which is what I actually like from Dex tools. So here we have the dashboard, which shows you some information about, if we go to all chain, for example, we can see some information about the daily gainers, the daily use, um, losers, also recently updated social. We can see some hot pairs here. You can even switch it to another one like BNB chain, Arbitrum, or whatever you like. Then we have some other information, last updated tokens, and this is a list that also have their social links added currently or most recently. So pretty good. So from there, we have probably the coolest feature, which is Pair Explorer and also live new pairs. Pair Explorer is just um, pasting a pair so you can see some stats here. So usually there are some pairs that if you go to CoinGecko, there is no way for you to track it or really to do some charting. So once you come here, you can actually paste the token name or also the contract. The only thing is that there are a lot of scams. There's a lot of scams. So you always need to make sure that the pair that you're adding, the number or um, the copy that you're adding here needs to be the same one. So you always need to double check. So as you can see, I'm adding one, but I'm getting many, many options here, many options. So you always need to make sure that you're actually clicking on the one that you want to chart or get involved with it. So once you're here, you can do some charting. You can see some information here like trade history, which is very important. So you can see the selling, you can see the buys, you can see the amount in um, US dollars and also ETH. And let's see total ETH, you can see the makers. Also, you can filter it. So for example, if you wanna check a minimum of $100 per trade, we can just do that and it, it will actually show you the minimum which is pretty, pretty interesting. Also, you can filter by sell, by buy, or just all. From there, you can also go to holders so you can see the information about the token. So this one has 28%. It might be for the liquidity pool, so we can check that real quick. Um, no, actually not, doesn't look like. Um, no, I don't think this is the liquidity pool. I'm not 100% sure, but usually it will show up that it is from Uniswap right here. So next, you can also check some other holders. You also have the address. So if you want to get some information about whatever else they are holding, you can just click here and you will get the information about that address, which is pretty good. So this is the Uniswap one. So here, let's see. Let's go ahead and click on this one to see what information we have. So yeah, this is an address. So you can see some information about it here. So once you're done, we can also check your positions. If you connect your wallet, we have price alerts and also my swaps. But again, you need to have a premium account and connect it. Next, we have some information about the pool. We have um, currently that project is worth $45 million. The liquidity is 3.74. We have circulating supply. We have holders. We have total market cap and also volume for that. And this is actually the token for Dex tools, right? So um, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. So from there, let's see what else we have. We can also check live new pairs right here, which is the one that I like the most. So here, if we go, for example, for base, which is one that is super hot lately, we have Brian, we have Mochi, we have BSX, we have Frentech. So most of them, 99.9% .9 are actually fake tokens. And they are just some liquidity grabbers who are just trying, you, trying to get some buys and then dumping on you or just removing the liquidity. But at least from here, you can see some information. So brand contract verification hasn't been detected. So if we click on one of them, let's go ahead and choose this one, for example we will be able to see some information and also sometimes you will be able to see some audits on that project. So we have contract verified, honeypot, it is not. So um, buy tax, we don't know, sell tax, we also don't know. If we click on check audits, we can also see some more information here. 
which is pretty good so let's see blacklisted it says no if they have blacklisted yes it is something that usually i don't like to get involved with it because i might be buying something and then getting blocked from selling my tokens and then getting dumping on so it is not something that i'm really interested in but even though all of this might look good they might also be a rock actually they're getting very very smart on how to do things to bypass all those information and actually um, get you scammed so trade history as you can see just three so really nothing if we check on the let's go ahead and do one hour to see what is the, the information that we have let's do five minutes so they actually just open up the trade the token so yes it is actually super odd but of course it might be a rug it might be a rug so we have actually really no information and the token name is what wow wow wowie or something like that also you can look for some information sometimes it will give you the option to just click here on twitter so it will look for the token if not you can just copy that name and add a dollar sign at first so for example we do like this so we would basically do something like this and do wowie and type it on twitter to look for the information and next we have so we're looking at the per explorer live new pairs then we have multi chart which is just by adding some charts so you can get some information nothing really interesting then we have multi swap which is by adding some contract name and then you will be able to take some swaps um, all of them at the same time basically then we have stats which is something that i really really like it is super super cool so let me go ahead and show you one example we have opbnb here and we have some options for exchanges we have binary swap we have flip swap pixel swap for dex and also luigi so if i click on binary swap i can see the hot pairs right now on this on the dex which we have number one op floki we have voldemort we have x dodge we have op pepe cat and some other ones so if we click here on flip swap we can see the correlation to see what are being purchased on each one so number one on fleet swap is their token which is fleet then we have four we have zen we have op pepe so as you can see here on binary swap we have op pepe for number four and here it is number fit so i know that on the same on even though there are different dexes there are some people purchasing the same token we can also add another one pixel swap here we have number one which is x we have number two voldemort so it is also showing up here on number two we have one ducky cat which is also um cat i see uh, i think i saw it yeah right here we have op pepe also we have x dodge we have op floki and some other ones you can actually do the same for some other chains so for example let's see base what we have there's currently a lot of dexes on base so let's go ahead and do swap base so we have number one, which is base. We have Tochi, base, boost, synth, and many other ones. Let's go ahead and click on, let's fucking go swap. We have number one, which is Tochi. So as you can see, it is actually the same one showing up here. We have base number three and here base number two. So at least you know that there is some people getting interested in that project, even though they're using a different swap. So from there, you can do some, um, some charting or looking at some information and see if it is something that spikes your interest let's go ahead and do one hour to see that that's a crazy chart okay that's a crazy chart okay from there let's go ahead and click on twitter so it will show you some also information about the latest tweets or their twitter so we have their twitter here base caps which i don't know what they are i trade on base market more fees spam blah 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 so on and so forth so from there you can get some information what else um let's see web their website so there you go you can also get some information right there and github which sometimes you can check out the code that they currently have so here we have some information from the uniswap pool we have market cap is at 2.93 liquidity 663 holders 328 um, total supply is at 350 we can see the sell and buys uh, position of course because since i i don't have a wallet connected and i also don't have the premium feature of course it will not show up and they also have the price alerts next we have some information here 
and we can also check the audits. As you can see, minable is yes. So that means they can continue to create more tokens if they want to. So that's a no, no. But from there, you can also check some more information. So pretty, pretty simple. So really stats, I would say that that feature is super, super interesting because I can just continue to add more rocket swap. So number one, we have base here. Uh, no, rocket swap is here. We have rocket, which is their token. We have Tochi again showing up base also showing up. So there is a lot of people really getting interested in those one. Um, the only thing is that let's see base. Yeah, there you go. Base $8.44, $8.44. So it is actually showing up pretty good. We're actually reviewing that just a second ago. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and click on Toshi to see what are the information that we have on Toshi. We can do one day to do some charting. So down a lot. Looks like there is some people getting interested in that project. So you can go on Twitter and see what people are talking about it and why it is actually going up a little bit. Holders, there's a lot of people really holding it. Not bad at all. 6K volume and everything else once you're done there's some other things but to be honest we cannot really use it we have wallet info which we need to have a premier premier account then we have products which are really things that you can add to your website or telegram then let's see we have burn uh let's see let's see burn dashboard so here we can basically see some information we have bitcoin ethereum dex tools we have dex eth circulating supply daily burn so just some basic information here can we change it no we cannot we cannot and let's see what else and also they have their dex tool academy which you can also check some information and that's it so basically for me dex tools if um you really want to know what are some projects that are coming up you can click on live new pairs Check the information, check if you can also find it on Twitter. If you find a real account, then make sure that no, the contract that you are verifying is actually the same one. Once you have it, you can also click. So let me show you one example. You can click on trade and sometimes it will give you the option um, for you to trade it. If it is a brand new one, sometimes you will not be able to do it. Um, next thing would be to actually copying and go, for example, on Uniswap or depending on where they have their pool and you should be able to trade it. And that's it. But again, you need to be very, very careful because most of them are actually scams. Even though I am showing you those tips, even though I am showing you the platform, um, the likelihood of you getting involved with a project that is actually fake are like 150%, really. So I've been burned here many, many times. So you need to be extra careful whenever you're using Dex tools or you want to jump into a project. So make sure that you're at least purchasing $1 using a burner wallet, purchasing $1 of a project. See if you're able also to sell it back if you're not getting blacklisted. And then if you do like it, maybe throw, I don't know, maybe like five or six dollars and take your profit as it goes up. And that's it. So basically, you have many options here. You can go to the chains, change it and see what are the things that um, you might be interested in. If you have any question, any doubts as usual, just drop it in the comment section. And if you find this content valuable, please share it to a friend, subscribe, like, talk to you later.